Yeah, I gotta run somewhere right after. So they're like, shower first or come here? First. And I was like, I'm gonna run somewhere right after. So I'm gonna go shower right after. Hey guys. How you doing? I'm chilling, you know? Very, very chilling. It's actually pretty dope today. Today was a good day. Very great day. Can you guys hear me? All right, cool. We started playing football. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We're tired of just working out. Let's go play football now. So yeah. How different would you say day one this year is compared to day one last year? Uh, I don't think it's that much different. I think everyone was just super excited just like last year. Uh, at least me, for sure. I don't know. Actually, most of the guys are excited. I saw some chippiness. That's how you know they were ready to play. Yeah, so that was pretty dope. Um, I, I mentioned it a couple times before. Uh, I broke my leg last year. I was going to get a six-year waiver anyways. So last year I broke my leg. I was coming back anyways when I broke my leg. And then I, uh, I was able to play a little bit at the end of the year. And so COVID just made the process easier. So I didn't have to apply. And I had a lot of unfinished business. So I just knew I had more to give. And I'm excited to play. And I love football, you know. I'd rather play football than go chill at home and work a nine to five. So I don't know about you guys. <laughs> yeah. Let's see the morale. They're hungry, you know? I feel like a lot of guys have a lot of things to prove, especially when uh, everyone keeps saying that our schedule was cupcake last year. I think everyone's ready to show them that it wasn't, and it wasn't just a fluke, and like we don't need Zach Wilson to do that, and stuff like that. They're like, oh, you're missing this guy or this guy, but I think everyone's just determined to play and show what we got, yeah. How do you gauge how that comes together? Because it did, it came together last year. How do you gauge that coming together this year? What that, are you going to be looking for? That's actually a great question. That's something that uh, I uh, can't really explain it. It's more of an intangible thing, something you feel. Um, it's just like a feeling that some of the guys just have. Um, there's no, like, mark. You know, there's no time you can run or no weight you can push that will tell you that. It's more of an intangible thing that some guys just feel. And I feel like there's still some of those guys here that have that chippiness. Am I right, Jaren? You got that? Heck yeah, bro. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm feeling like. Uh, you talked about the morale. You guys are feeling ready, you know, emotionally. What, what about physically? You guys in shape, just ready to go? Oh yeah. This year we actually had new to all off season, so it was actually pretty good. Um, I know a lot of guys actually went outside on their own time too, so I feel like a lot of guys are physically ready. I feel physically ready. How do I look? Do I look kind of big? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, a little bit, just a little bit. But yeah, no, I feel good. I, I, I think. Everyone does feel good, especially like the guys that have been here for like at least two years. They realize how important the weight room is now. So everyone's looking buff and stuff. So yeah. Yeah. So I'm. I'm. It's like a weird outside end slash like Jack slash quarterback slash <laughs> safety. No, nah, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, just like I'm just play. It's like a weird rush in. So there's different packages depending on what kind of offense we play. So if it's a passing offense, I'll play a Jack. If it's like a running offense, I'll play OE. So it's just uh, it's here and there for playing. Like it just all depends. So yeah. Along with you in that kind of hybrid role, who are some of the other defensive ends that you feel contribute this season? Um, everyone knows about Batty, but I want to give a shout out to Pepe. Pepe has been working heck of hard on the off season. He is so fast, so twitchy. He's a Navy transfer. I'm really excited to see what he has. He plays Jack primarily and opposite end, so he's like the opposite of me. So he, I'm excited to see him. That's somebody that's going to show a lot during the fall, and I'm, I'm ready to ball out with him. So it's going to be fun. And replacing Kyrus, Keaton comes back. Huzz. Back from brain injury. I mean, yeah. The depth there in the interior of the line. Yeah, so um, Nysa. I'm super excited for Nysa. I love Nysa. Nysa was one of my old roommates, and he is so strong. Like, I kid you not, it, I think he's just as strong as Kyrus. And that's weird, because he's way smaller. So it's like, and he's faster too, so it's weird. But like, Nysa's, Nysa's scary good. He's been ready, like we come all the time after workouts to like work out some more. And like, just seeing him like, like I'll do like three plates like 20 times, and then Nysa's like, oh, let me warm up. And then he puts on four plates and like does it 20 times, I'm like, that's freaking crazy, bro. So yeah, nice is gonna be dope. Uh, Kaden Hawes, he's ready mentally. Yeah. So yeah.